let's write the equation of this uh, trig graph or a sine or a cosine graph okay so the first thing that I want to do is to write the general formula so the general formula is y the general formula of a sine or a cosine graph is y is equal to a times sine or cos times 360 divided by b times x minus c plus d so this is the baseline this c is the starting point b is the period and a is the amplitude so if you write the coordinate of the maximum and minimum that will basically give you everything so let's write the coordinate of the maximum and minimum so the maximum you can take any two max any maximum so the maximum is say, let's say is 120 3.5 so this is the maximum and the minimum is 60 minus 60 comma minus 1.5 so from this the x coordinate of the maximum that will give you the period and from the y coordinate you will get the baseline and the amplitude so first let me write the baseline baseline is halfway between the the maximum and the minimum so this is the baseline is halfway between the y coordinate of the maximum and y coordinate of the minimum so baseline is the average so that is 3.5 plus 1 plus negative 1.5 divided by 2 so 3.5 plus negative 1.5 is how much uh, that is same as 2 that is basically same as 3.5 take away 1.5 so baseline is 2 divided by 2 so baseline is 1 baseline is 1 so does it make sense so if you draw a line so this this is 1 so if you draw the baseline so this is your baseline and let's go to the, this side so this is basically the baseline so this it does make sense so this distance is the amplitude or this distance is also the amplitude so well if baseline is one we can from the baseline and the maximum from baseline to the minimum you can find the amplitude so amplitude is the distance from the maximum to the baseline which is 3.5 is your maximum take away 1 which is 2.5 so a a is going to be 2.5 b okay we haven't found b so this is your d so this is your baseline okay so now we need to decide what is going to be c Okay, before that, let's find the period. So the period is the dis wavelength or the distance from one point, the horizontal distance from one point to the successive next point. So if you take this point, this is one point and the successive next point is this point. So this horizontal distance is called the wavelength or period. So minus 240 to 0 is 240 and 0 to 120 is 120 so the period in this case is going to be 360 now starting point you can take any point doesn't matter so let's say the starting point is at minus 240 and starting point two at minus 240 you've got the maximum so if the starting point is at maximum it's a positive cost graph so let me first explain so from the from minus 240 it is positive cost graph if you are taking from minus 60 if the starting point is say minus 60 you are at the minimum so that will is same as that is the graph of minus cos 
Now from baseline, so if you're starting at the baseline, so what will be this? So, for, so this is a quarter wavelength. So a quarter of 360 is 90. So minus 60 plus 90 is going to be 30 comma. So let me use a darker color. This is this coordinate. This coordinate is going to be 30 comma 1 because the baseline is 1. So from this point, if the starting point is say 30, if the starting point is 30, from the baseline you're going up, so that would be a positive sign graph. And if, say if you're taking this point, so let me use a darker color. If you're taking this point, from this point, this is minus 150 comma 1. And from this you're going down, so if the starting point is if the starting point is minus 150, it is a negative sign graph. So I'm going to write four equations of the same graph and then you can check it on your calculator. So, so if for this the equation would be y is equal to the amplitude. What is the amplitude? The amplitude is 2.5. So it'll be 2.5 times it's a positive. At minus 240 is the maximum, so it's a cos graph times 360 divided by 360 is 1, so you don't need to write 1, so basically, so let me write 1, 1 times x minus 240, so take away minus 240 is going to be plus 240, plus the baseline, the baseline is 1. Okay, if you go at minus 60, it's a negative cos graph, so y is equal to 2.5. You can also write minus 2.5, but I don't write, like to write amplitude, amplitude as negative. As, that is the same as writing 2.5 times negative cos 1 times x take away negative 60 is x plus 60 plus 1. If from minus 150 it's a negative sign graph so it'll be y is equal to 2.5 times negative sign x plus 150 so take away minus 150 is same as so I'm, I'm deleting the one here you don't need a one so plus one and finally if it is from 30 the graph would be y is equal to 2. Point, 2 from 30 it's a positive sign graph so it will be 2.5 times sine x minus 30 plus 1. So you can use your calculator or Desmos to check and enter all these equations and you'll find they are the same graph.